Hey, welcome back to another very important video regarding the use of AI tools in academic writing. If you are still using ChatGPT for your academic writing and sick tired of the misinformation about the gaps in the information and about the repetition of the information in the data which ChatGPT provides you and you are looking for another free option which is going to help you to give you more professional, more advanced data against your queries, then watch this video till end because I'm going to share you another very strong platform which is is offering you more features than ChatGPT and is completely free. The name of that platform is Gemini AI. I talk about it multiple times in my reels, posts and videos but today I'm going to have a complete tutorial on it that how you can use Gemini AI for any kind of a writing and get professional results with the reference link of the source information. You will go in the Google and write G-E-M-I-N-I dot Google dot com. You can access this tool from the link which is given in the description box also and you will direct it towards the tools. This is the interface of the tool and I'm running it without any Chrome extension. To get better results and to get the all the information with the reference link, you can use web chat GPT extension in your Chrome. After doing that extension, you will be able to get all the information with the references and the link of that Chrome extension is available in the description box also and that is also totally free. So these tools are totally free and they're going to help you to solve maximum problems of your academic writing. So, for example, I'm a PhD student. I am working on to have some kind of a research topic ideas and, and I'm doing a brainstorming and I asked Chad GPT and Gemini AI both to have, give me some suggestions and I asked them, I am a PhD student, like a pro researcher and give me trending research topic ideas for my research proposal about the application of amidazole based ionic liquids in cosmetics. So this is a very generic topic but let's move with it and I asked the same question from a Gemini AI and let's see the difference in results we get from these both tools. So the first difference is chat GPT give us about 10 ideas on which we can look at and Gemini give us the and Gemini give us the five research topic ideas which are trending and according to that research topic which we provided. Now just evaluate first two or three and we will able to see some difference. The first one, Chad GPT suggested us synthesis and characterization of metazole based ionic liquid for enhanced cosmetic formulation. Developer characterized a new metazole based ionic liquid with properties suitable for applications and then research question are how do different substituents in a metazole based ring affect the physical and chemical properties of ionic liquids? What are the optimal synthesis condition for conducting high purity ionic liquids suitable for cosmetic use? Good one. So let's move toward the first research topic Gemini has provided us. Amidazole based ionic liquid for enhanced delivery of cosmetic ingredients. That was just for the synthesis and they are and they are just changing the structure of the molecule and then the environment. This topic is focused on a very keen change and that is for enhanced delivery of cosmetic ingredients. Investigate the design of ionic liquids for encapsulating and delivering a specific cosmetics ingredients with improved efficacy and control release properties explore the use of these ionic liquids to target specific skin layers for enhanced penetration and localized effect and study the biocompatibility and cytotoxicity of these designer ionic liquids to ensure safety for cosmetic applications. So you can see the difference the research topic chat GPT provided us was very superficial as compared to the research topic which Gemini AI provided us that is very in-depth, very directional and very to the point and objective. So in the same way, although it provides us five research topic ideas, but these five research topic ideas are more potential as compared to the ideas that chat GPT provides us. And even you can modify these responses and you can make them shorter, longer, simple, more casual or more professional. For example, we press on it that we want more professional or we want a more simpler form of that. So we can make changes in that ideas by just using this option. So this is one thing in which Gemini has doing good so for example we have select this research topic and this is our the topic of the research proposal and now we will ask Gemini AI 
give me the outline of my PhD research proposal entitled this and in the same way I ask same to chat GPT to develop the outline of my research proposal and let's see the difference between these two tools. So this is the result which I get from chat GPT introduction overview anic liquids and their unique properties introduction of imidazole based anic liquid and their relevance in the industry and importance of target delivery and functionality enhanced in cosmetics. This is the background and this will be the part of problem statement and this will be the research significance significance, challenges in the current cosmetic formulation regarding stability, delivery and efficacy of active ingredients. So let's difference a few of these headings. Briefly discuss the growing demand of innovative and effective cosmetic ingredients. We are not focusing on the ionic liquid. Our focus is the problem, is the issue and that is the effective cosmetic ingredients and we are focusing on that and then we will work on that how we are integrating ionic liquids to solve this problem. So highlighting the limitation of conventional delivery system for cosmetic actives, poor penetration, instability, etc. And then we will move at third point, we are introducing ionic liquids, amidazole, introduced amidazole based ionic liquid as a promising class of materials for cosmetic application due to their unique properties and then state the research objective to develop the novel amidazole based ionic liquid for target delivery enhanced functionality of cosmetic activities. So you can see the difference. You can see the depth of understanding your problem and the professionalism Gemini provides you in writing in your academic writing as compared to the chat GPT. So you can see the difference and you can try this tool. For example, we just pick the first paragraph, write a 200 word paragraph about this information for my PhD research proposal and we are going to ask to write a brief discussion, briefly discuss the growing demand of innovative and effective cosmetic ingredients and we will ask same to write for us from the chat GPT. Now again, if you done the web chat GPT extension, all this information you will get with the references and the issue to get the authentic information with the references will be solved. So this is uh, the information that chat GPT provides us. In the recent year, the cosmetic industry has witnessed a surging demand for innovative and effective ingredients driven by consumer awareness and technological advancements. Consumers today seek more than just aesthetic enhancement. They prioritize products that offer tangible skin benefits such as anti-aging, hydration and protection against environment aggressors. So let's the the difference between these introductory lines which chat GPT provide us. Consumers today are increasingly seeking out cosmetic products that deliver visible results and cater to specific needs. There has driven a surge in demand for innovative and effective cosmetic ingredients. Traditional delivery system often struggle with the limitation like poor penetration. So they both took the initial information from the same source. That's why it's, it seems similar. But when you go in depth and when you look at the ideas and when you look at the writing style of the Gemini AI, it, this is more academic, more professional and information it provides you will be more advanced, more according to the need of your document as compared to ChatGPT. So stop using ChatGPT at the moment and try Gemini AI. It's totally free. It provides you information with the links if you do the extension website uh, GPT. And again, its image analyzer option is free while as the image analyzer option of chat GPT is offering you limited use per day. If you want to know that how you can analyze the images by using Gemini AI, you can watch my this video. The link is available on the i button. We'll see you in another video. Till then take care of yourself. Bye-bye.